hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please make sure to subscribe so in this video we are going to see the easy path for act 7.1.5 and we are taking extreme right path to the night carnage boss and uh, the global nodes are not that difficult so you can completely ignore that so let's talk about the link node so first node is unlimited power second is mystic ward third is mystic curse and fourth is buffet so all the defenders on on this path are not that difficult other than the storm because of her glancing ability uh, whenever uh, we try to apply her neutralize she glances the def uh, debuff so that's only the problem but we will talk about that fight uh, in detail when we uh, fight against her so now let's talk about the link nodes on the on this path so first node is the unlimited power for each debuff the defender has suffered since the start of the fight for every 10 seconds the he activates the permanent fury increasing the attack rating for 25 seconds if fury buffs are nullified or uh, removed in any way the defender gains 50% of their max power for each buff nullified so the second uh, node on this path is going to be mystic ward so nullify ability fails uh, 95% so the third link node is going to be mystic curse whenever mystic champion use special attack it will uh, it will be uh, applying poison to the defender equal to the attack rating of the attack so it's a uh, very difficultly explained so i will just explain you uh, in simple form so whenever the uh, mystic champion uses their special attack they will apply a poison to the defender equals to the uh, damage of attack rating of the attacker so it's very difficult but it's a very simple but uh, explained very uh, in a complicated words so that po poison will do uh, equally damage to the attack rating of the attack attacker again this uh, a lot of attacker attacker but leave it to the point so whenever you reapply the poison it will uh, increase the potency of damage by 40% so just forget about that it's not that important it, it will make the fight much more easier so the fourth no uh, node is going to be buffet uh, defender regenerates 5% hp whenever attacker triggers buff so this is not a problem because we are applying very uh, uh very number of uh, more number of debuffs so it's not going to be going to be a problem so the problem uh, on this path is only for the storm other than that you can do any fight all the other fights with wiccan very easily the reason behind that you can uh, you are using neutralize so i i decided to bring in uh, rintra uh just to uh, test the fight or uh, and other one is going to be morning star but they did not work very well uh, against the storm uh, you will see that uh, in the upcoming fight and uh, the reason uh, or the problem with rintra uh, is uh, he is not his uh, neutralized debuffs are not that long enough or they are not getting paused as uh, as we can and any other mystic champion most of the mystic champions were nullifying the buff and uh, just because of mystic ward uh, nullifying was not guaranteed uh, which will not give you uh, power return to siphon like dr doom for uh, you can say you cannot siphon the power uh, very easily just because you are nullifying the uh, the buff on the defender and the problem with nullifying them is they are very uncertain because nullify ability fails 95% so you cannot predict so mostly the defender goes to sp3 and you will die so rather than using any other champion i will recommend using uh, mostly uh, wiccan and another world champion that you can use is uh tigra i don't have five star or six star tigra so i cannot say exactly how she will work but i think she should work because of her neutralize and her neutralize is much more stronger than uh rintra i think uh if i'm not if i'm wrong please let me know in the comment section 
and the another thing is uh, i decided to bring in spider-man supreme so spider-man supreme is working like uh, you will say that spider-man supreme uh, also nullify the buff then how is he working so he he he's having a uh, ability uh, whenever the opponent having he be having a lot of buffs and they are uh, they are gaining power because of those buffs so it's working like mystical ward is stopping you from nullifying the debuff but the nullification from the uh, nullification from the spider-man supreme is giving power to the storm but that power is siphoned to the spider-man supreme because of his ability which is uh, says like that the more number of buffs the opponent have the more powers uh, he will siphon from their uh, power bar to the to the spider-man supreme's power bar and here you can see in this video uh, spider-man supreme's power is going up and up and up instead of uh, storm's power going up so even if he is nullifying the buff on the storm but storm is not getting power from those uh, buffs or that nullification which we uh, which we saw uh, uh, recently which is like unlimited power so whenever you nullify the buff they gain power 15% uh, power and uh, here you can see that uh, storm is not getting power but spider-man supreme is getting power so whenever you are using spider-man supreme against storm uh, make sure to not get hit because here you can see that i took only one heavy hit and spider-man supreme is down to the 30 35 percent hp so he's a very flimsy champion and that's why i did not use him in uh, previous matchups and i uh, specifically kept him for this fight because wiccan was not working uh, in this fight because he's neutralized i was failing to uh, reapply his neutralized because of the glancing ability and uh, every other fight are very very simple you just need to be patient you have to concentrate on the neutralize only and uh, use your sp1 don't go for the sp2 because uh, what happened in sp2 is like uh, that shock debuff uh, consumes the consumes the uh, incinerate and which can reduce the damage output most uh, mostly just because uh, mystic uh, sorry not mystic but that uh, incinerate debuffs stack much faster than the shock debuff so i will recommend go for the sp1 only because you are nullifying uh, more and more buff uh, with the neutralize not nullifying but you are just stopping them from the uh, activation so you are naturally killing or you are naturally getting the incinerate debuff so you should stack more debuff uh, incinerate debuff uh, with your sp1 instead of going for the sp2 because sp2 will consume uh, more incinerates so the next fight is going to be iron man and this is the fight uh, which i was more concerned uh, than storm but then i realized that storm fight was much difficult because uh, neutralize was failing to apply because of glancing ability and here i decided uh, that i will get first uh, heavy because sometimes it's quite difficult to get reparry on the iron man because his ai is like very very jerky or very stubborn so whenever i get a uh, parry i make sure that i always have that power gain and uh, then i try to uh, maximize my neutralize all the time so that i know that if I stacked uh, multiple incinerate debuff on the infinity uh, infinity war iron man then uh, I will not have much problems while dealing him with uh, under 15% power because uh, if you remember that his uh, signature ability is like whenever he is under 50% power 15% power he will activate that armor he will auto block he will gain power here you can see that I get caught uh, actually i was thinking that i will finish him with the five five hit combo uh, but that didn't turn out very well but luckily 
i am running that mastery i don't remember remember the name of that mastery so uh, which reduces the opponent's power uh, opponent's damage output uh, the more number of debuffs you have so that's why i survived there so now let's talk about the boss fight you just don't need to think about anything just bring in a champion who does poison damage and or immune to poison damage or don't take uh, poison damage any kind of champion that can uh, easily work here but i recommend using champion who applies the poison and immune to poison mostly mostly it's quite important to deal damage as well as immune to be damaged for the same source so here i am using uh, my abomination immortal and uh, another thing you should keep in the mind make sure to change his uh, form so it's a night crawler so he can evade and if he, if he evades you are going to have very very bad time so in the start of the fight you should uh, try to activate uh, his another form where he does not uh, evade and another thing is uh, after changing his form make sure to not get hit because he will hit very very hard uh, uh, thankfully i am having that mastery again um, i forgot I, I forgot the name of that mastery but that mastery is saving me here otherwise i would have died with that four four hit combo because he also does some bleed damage uh, from his sword so make sure to change his form and the uh, fight will be very very easy with immortal abomination five star immortal abomination is very good for this fight uh, one thing that i forgot to tell you uh, my five star weaken was in the war uh, on the defense that's why i am using my six star weaken and i am using some boost because i am free to play player and i cannot waste my resources so thanks for watching the video